During the coronavirus pandemic, we want to ensure we are protecting our workforce and minimizing the risk of the infection spreading. In order to help us achieve this, we have put procedures in place to provide clarity on travel, welfare, working on site, logistics, meetings and briefings, and first aid. Our updated site operating procedures are based on government recommendations and Public Health England guidance and will be in place across all of our construction sites. Please do not travel to site if you are feeling unwell, are pregnant, have a high temperature, have an underlying health condition, live with someone who is self-isolating or are within 14 days of when any member of your household showed symptoms of COVID-19 or are considered as or living with a vulnerable person. If you feel unwell whilst on site, exit site immediately. Avoid touching anything. Notify a manager via text or call and cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. Please avoid any public transport, especially during peak times. Wherever possible, workers should travel using their own transport. If workers have no option but to share transport, it should be in a thoroughly cleaned vehicle, with the same individuals and with the minimum number of people at any one time. When accessing site, ensure that you Allow plenty of space between people waiting to enter site and remain at least two meters apart. Listen to the supervisor at all times. Take note of signage such as floor markings to ensure a two meter distance is maintained. And make use of cleaning facilities such as sanitizer, especially where entry systems require skin contact. Hand washing whilst you are on site all workers should wash their hands for at least 20 seconds using soap and warm water and, as a minimum, at the following stages of the day. Before and after using facilities. When entering and exiting site. Before and after using equipment. In accordance with any additional site cleaning regimes. And after touching a common contact surface. Logistics access and egress. Maintain at least two meters of separation, taking particular care at intersections and crossing points. Use passing points to let people through. Avoid stopping and chatting unless essential. Make use of stairs where practical. And avoid using lifts and hoists. Shifts and break times. Where achievable, shifts will be staggered to reduce congestion and contact. Ensure you take note of your allocated shift and break times. These will be advised to you on a daily basis by your supervisor. Follow rules on hand washing and bring your own pre-prepared meals. Sit at least two meters apart. Clear up your own waste. And where they are provided to assist with compliance on social distancing measures, listen to the supervisor at all times. Radio communication. All managers must have clear communication via two-way radios. The following operatives must also be in radio contact during plant operations and movement. Plant operators. Banksmen slingers, supervisors, and gatemen. Working while you're on site. Where possible, rearrange tasks to enable them to be done by one person. Ensure operatives maintain social distance measures of two or more meters. Plan tasks to avoid unnecessary contact between operatives. And avoid skin-to-skin -skin and face-to-face -face contact. Where it is essential to carry out a task working within two meters, operatives should, where possible, keep this to less than 15 minutes. Consider introducing an enhanced authorization process. Provide additional supervisor to monitor and manage compliance. 
and work side by side or facing away from each other rather than face to face. Plant operations. Plant will be assigned to operators to eliminate cross-contamination and should be cleaned regularly with disinfectants. Plant should be cleaned at the start of the day, when taking breaks, and also at the end of the workday. Personal protective equipment. Appropriate PPE should be worn specific to the task or particular site rules. Reusable PPE should be thoroughly cleaned before and after use and not shared between operatives. And single-use PPE should be disposed of so it cannot be reused. Deliveries, loading and unloading. Drivers should remain in their vehicles where the load allows. If required to leave the vehicle, drivers should wash their hands before loading and unloading. Site meeting briefings and gatherings should only be held and attended when necessary. Should maintain the two meter rule. Where possible, should be held outdoors. Meeting indoors should be avoided. But, where necessary, rooms should be well ventilated and windows left open. First aid and emergency services. The primary responsibility is to preserve life and first aid should be administered if required and until the emergency services attend. When planning site activities, the provision of adequate first aid resources must be agreed between the relevant parties on site. Emergency plans including contact details should be kept up to date. Consideration must also be given to potential delays in emergency services response due to the current pressures on resources and consider either preventing or rescheduling high-risk work or providing additional competent first aid or trauma resources. Carey London believes the measures necessary to minimise the risk of spread of infection rely on everyone in the industry taking responsibility for their actions and behaviours. We encourage an open and collaborative approach between everyone on site, where any issues can be openly discussed and addressed. Above all, the health and safety of our operatives must not be compromised at any time. If an activity cannot be undertaken safely, it should not take place. Stay safe. Save lives.